Hi guys, and welcome to your October 2020. This is gonna be the what aren't they telling you for the beautiful sign of cancer. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Hello, cancer. Everything that you need about me, what the name of this is, what we're doing, cards we're using, everything. Your encyclopedia of knowledge is below in the description box, lovelies. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, okay, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to the tribe, Alan, what's good? Bam, bam, hello to my members. I have neglected to say this, just dawned on me now. We are almost at that magical number that I'm not going to reveal. When we get that number of members, I am not going to do anything but go on and say we hit our magic number. I'm going to call out to all of my members to please send me your addresses and confidence. And I bear gifts, okay? Um, I'm hoping that that can happen around Christmas time. I am excited to mail out some things to you. I wanted to do this last year. Um, so yes, I know that some of my members are my clients as well. You were a client before I even launched my memberships. I love you guys. Um, so thank you for all of your support and my growth. I appreciate you. Um, I do not have, um, well, I was not, I shouldn't say I do not have. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to send. <laughs> I'm done with that. Pre-shuffle energy is on Instagram. I have been trying to cultivate that account. Um, the software that I was using to share the videos is not working. So I decided to, you know, do that. So it may change again. It just depends. So Pre-shuffle energy is a little bit different. Sometimes it still comes out. Sometimes it doesn't. I let you guys know. I think it's very important. I used to do that a lot. I'm going back to it. I feel like it's very um, useful. And because um, sometimes I reach you in a pre-shuffle energy that might not come out in the main energy. So if you resonate with that, you can always book and say, you know, that part of it resonated with me, Marv, you know, and book your reading. So I do want to let you know um, that I do give a blurb over there um, with the link if it works to watch the video. I want to let you know that somebody that loves you cancer is afraid. Um, I know you're tired of hearing that shit. I'm sorry. Um, oh, God. Cancer, they want to reveal themselves. They want to say that they love you too. They want to surrender. They have, yes, definitely kept up control. The control was in a means to protect themselves. Um, it's interesting that justice is here. It's interesting that their means of control is withholding. Now, not control from a standpoint where cancer, you need to do X, Y, and Z and blah, blah, blah. They expect that, but they're not telling you. This person has a hard time with... Um, being forthcoming with how they feel, but not like these other readings though. Yours is a, is a, conf a confirmation of mental fear, which is also justice. Um, we have a lot of eights. Eight has been my number of the week. Like God, catch me at the end of the week where I go on Instagram and I'm going to start to give like a, a end of the week commentary on like what I observed and because sometimes there be there, there are such profound things cancer that I want to tell you but anyway eights have been very profound in the past readings and I just want to let you know you are the eighth zodiac sign that I'm doing I only have a few more you are number eight so look at that so let me know what eight means to you um, and my intention is to get all of the pre-shuffles up and talk about the pre-shuffles. Um, that's a way for me to give you the end of the week commentary. If you're interested in that, um, that's going to start going up on Instagram. I don't know whether I'm going to do a pre-recorded video or live, but I've been wanting to do it for a long time. So I'm just going to do it. Okay. Mars will be out of retrograde soon. Um, and that's why I'm getting all of this good energy. We're going in with your blockage eight. What does eight mean to you? Form four, your foundation. Your emotional foundation here. I'm sorry for that little commentary, guys. It is time stamp. Bear with me. Show me, please. Woo! First card out is peace. I am a being of love and release negative energy. Yes, yes, yes. I feel attachment blocker. Fear. What? 
What? What, Cancer? I can't even make it up. I love you guys. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in an energy of love. I'm telling you. Person that loves you is afraid and undecided. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. They have a decision to make. Empathy. I am not knowing how I feel as a cancer son right now with this empathy card. I went on a rant about empathy and how uh, people love to tell cancers that they don't empathize. I think it was in another video. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. But it's interesting to me that this has come out because I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Obviously, we know that this is a lack thereof. Your pre-shuffle had a different, in, the empathic oracle, believe it or not. Um, go and check out the pre-shuffle if you want to know what that is. Let's clarify peace. Spring, the card of one and nine, which is 10. Something is going to be cut. And you know what? Another thing has, that has been coming out, okay, is seasons. Um, fear is living in someone's authenticity. And if you see six, seven, eight, nine, this is the card of nine. Um, and then we do have entanglement, okay? Clarifying my indecision, which is the card of seven. Top of the deck is chaos. There is chaos in this empathy, the card of five. You guys, you got a good, a pretty good cross the board. Um, someone needs to come with it into a, a, a level of peace and reconciling their own thoughts. There's nothing that you can do about that. I know that that sucks because you love this person. I know that you love the person because in order for them to be afraid of to live in the energy of love, you didn't already love them so good that now they're feeling guilty. I'm actually surprised that that did not come out. Denial is very, very close. Um, they don't live in an energy of love. They live in an energy of chaos. They live in an energy of not trusting their intuition. They live in an energy of negative energy. They live in constant negative energy for fear of what will go wrong. Living them living their lives, holding themselves back from love because they don't want to be hurt. This is a little bit more than the male ego, um, cancer women. This is different. This seems like trauma. Okay. There is, you can't, you can't heal that. You can't fight the person for their heart. You can't do it. So, um, for those of you who are dealing with someone, um, and I told you, I, just like I told the Capricorns, lovelies, we don't attract who we are. We attract the opposite sides of us. And in some cases, depending on where you are in your spiritual path, you attract the, those people that are made to wake you up to open up those parts of yourself that may be closed off because a lot of the times, just because you know how to love don't, doesn't mean that you're loving balanced. That, that doesn't mean that just because you do give love, do you overdo it? You know what I'm saying? So we all have those lessons to learn. Let's talk about 10. There's going to be a completion in the spring. Um, you still have a few more months to go, but there is going to be some type of completion in the spring. Um, and that is the card of 19. One and nine being 10. Um, I feel like there is, well, what energy is, spring? okay, can I count tonight? What energy is around the spring? Then those could be some of the energies or zodiac signs that you are connecting with. Let's look at spring. So we're not talking about January, February, March is what we're talking about. So we're talking about Aries. We're talking about, um, Pisces. Um, and then when we get into Taurus, we are breaking official spring, but then we're, I'm sorry, we're breaking, um, we're on the cusp of spring and summer. I believe that the first day of summer is like June 22nd. So we could be those three Aries, Pisces, Aries, Taurus. You could be connecting with those. Okay. There's going to be a time of renewal. This person is going to want to take things to the next level. I'm not saying that they don't want to do it now. I'm just saying that if you're looking for a higher level of commitment, cancer, that's when it's going to come. Do my physical desires cloud my judgment? Do I continue to expect a different outcome from the same projected experience? <laughs> Am I planting seeds 
of that which will ultimately that I want to harvest. That's what that harvest means. And no, they're not doing that because they're not at peace in their mind right now. Um, this spring has a dual uh, a dual type of um, of meaning cancer. They have planted the seeds of intention, but that those seeds of intentions are only for you to 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 the seeds of intention that they have planted was one sided. Those intentions was only to get a desired outcome from you, lovely, but not necessarily what they gave back because they were fearful. OK, we do have authenticity. We know that that is the card of eight. They were not operating um, from a, 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 a authentic place. Am I hiding behind a false front of how I really feel? Yes, they are. Um, do I perceive a false intention from another to throw me off trail? Yes, they did. <laughs> is there a component in this situation that is not as it seems? Now, am I holding on to what which is not the truth? They're holding on to what is not the truth. That's exactly what they're doing. OK, um, and so these are the blockages, by the way, we're going to get into it. And then we end with indecision. That's entanglement. <laughs> Interesting word. That Will and Jada made very popular. Well, Jada did. Um, and this is remembering to always practice cutting the cords to all of the people in your life. Okay, so no one needs energy from anyone else. Are you being drained from unfinished business, old hurts, or the needy neediness of others? And that's exactly what this is. So if a person has not stepped up into... Ascending this particular relationship to a higher level of commitment, your version of commitment or a commitment that makes you feel safe. It's because of the entanglement with other people, places or things, not necessarily third party. We're going to go ahead and see what comes out in the main energy. I'm going to give this a shuffle. Um, and I feel like they have made themselves a victim because empathy is here. Um, this came out of somebody else's reading, but I'm going to start tracking these pre shuffles again. Because I need to do it when stuff like this happens. I can tell you who you cross them with. Um, but they were not open to seeing your side of the situation, Cancer. Um, and that's, that is the five of, yes, they feel left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Also, Hierophant. Show me, Spirit, what they aren't telling Cancer. Of course, you're their wish. We already know that they were not being honest. Um, they're holding on to past hurts. Never looked at your side of the situation. Um, but now they're up at night. We do have two nines here. So I know that um, there is a distance between you guys. You could have put some distance between you. They're up at night not getting any sleep because you they're feeling left out in the cold. You are their wish fulfillment in this nine of cups. Those two nines means that there is distance. Four of pentacles is here. Um that's interesting because this four of pentacles really examines the fact that this individual did not or can't see past their the, their possession. Um, it's interesting because we talked about this in the blockage, but that four wants to control and possess. And interestingly enough, look at that. The communication has been bad. That is, that is my knight of swords. Um, they're not being honest with you about how they feel. They feel, but they do feel victimized. We do have the Eight of Cups. There's our other eight. And we do have the Queen of Swords. Yes, you have put up your boundaries, Cancer, for those of you who resonate with this. Sprinkling on top of all of this is the Ace of Wands. This is also the Strength card. So we do have good Leo energy. Congratulations for that. Um, this Four of Pentacles really talks about... An energy where a person refuses to look at anything else from their perspective. Now, going beyond holding on to possessions and blah, blah, blah. I do not feel like this is what they're necessarily doing to you, but this is how they approach things to hold on to it and the comfort of their own thoughts and not looking at things from anybody else's perspective namely you, the person that they love, has kept them again in this negative energy and it has actually stunted the growth between you guys, okay? Um, so let's find out where we are. They are feeling definitely very left out in the cold. I'm going to give you your, um, your three major arcana. We do have Taurus. So this is another Taurus reference. As I told you guys already, 
the spring is probably when some things are going to start manifest or manifesting. But for some of you guys, now that I see that this is the five of pentacles that has come out as the first card, it could be that that's when it broke down. So it broke down in May, which actually ties back to this Aries energy because that's that's the same month that Air, that Mars went into retrograde, which is the ruler for Aries. So you see what I'm doing here? So, yeah. Higher fun energy is here. Um, my higher self, my traditions. This is the card of marriage. All of these things. Um, I feel as if this leaving out in the cold and this shutting out has made them think about how much they love you, about how much they didn't look at things from your perspective, about how brash they were, about how they were not necessarily very good communicative, uh, like uh, from a communicative standpoint how you had no choice but to put your boundaries up in this queen of wands. And now um, the, the emotions have just been bottled up. I do see the moon here. Moon is the Pisces card. So those are, see, I already told you that too. So I see, um, I, I, the only thing that I don't see, I see Pisces. Only thing I don't see is Aries. Do I see Aries yet? No, I don't see Aries energy yet, but I do still predict it because that's springtime energy. I do see Taurus and I do see Pisces. Please clarify. Thank you. First card is engagement. Yes, that's the card of marriage. So, what's clarifying that left out in the cold? You guys have could have went, been going back and forth about ascending to a higher level of commitment or where you were did not make you feel secure, Cancer, so you put your foot down. Do you understand what I'm saying? They have not been honest, um, keeping an open mind because you are different from what they usually love. And that was another thing that made them think. Now they're up at night being clarified by the fact that they need to talk to you. So right now, they're in their head trying to figure out what to say. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to say to you, but they're going to be honestly discussing their feelings with you at some point. Okay, that's so sweet. I'm starting to feel them now. They know that you are the one and this is why they've been holding it back. They feel like the one is supposed to operate a certain type of way. And that energy takes its thoughts and it loses sight of the bigger picture. And that is what they've done. Clarify the Knight of Swords reconciliation um what the breakdown was was an argument there was some communication that was not good honey um they want to forgive and learn they want to forgive and learn um that is what is going to be revealed when they have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you about how they want to reconcile i do feel like with this queen of swords being here and children this indicates the trauma i know is usually children are affecting the love life, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. I feel like they, th their relationships with, their grown-up relationships are being affected by something that their mom or their dad, something that happened to them in childhood. This is what I am interpreting this as because this is intuitive tarot. Um, it could be a child situation. That's bland. That's blah, blah, blah. But for some, those of you... This doesn't give me enough information. I do not think that there will be an issue with you being or helping them with their child or children. If that entanglement, though, has anything to do with other people, this could be incorporating you into the fold cancer because you are a hell of a mom or dad. And that this entanglement external party that is the mother or father of this child feels some kind of way. That's secondary. I don't feel that. I feel like this energy here is them. Their inner child, their inner child is blocked in this particular relationship. I'm sorry. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. We do have express love. Um, this person is going to come toward you and um, really they're up at night. They're thinking about it. They, they understand. They didn't look at things from your perspective. They didn't give you the benefit of the doubt. It sucked. Um, they didn't give you the benefit of the doubt. It's really funny how that pre-shuffle really coincides with this too. Interesting. Um, your major arcana is the moon, strength, and the hierophant. 
<laughs> yes, strength is clarifying. Express your love. They're going to make the romantic gesture. Um, I don't feel like this is a full breakup. Again, you guys have stacked up those cups and that eight of cups. Decided to pack your emotions in and go on a trip. You need to go on a trip to reconcile things within yourself. You could have put, your, like I said, you put your boundaries up. And again, this children card is their inner child. You told them that they were acting like a child and they were too emotionally immature and you have had it. I'm telling you, that's what I'm picking up on. Keywords, engagement, beautiful. Keep an open mind, heart to heart conversations. This could be the one. Reconciliation, forgiving and learning. Children, express your love. They want to marry you. Right now, they're thinking about how... You're the best. You're the best. They love you. And they're, they they don't understand what went wrong. They've been listening to you. See, they're not listening to you when you guys are yelling and screaming. They heard what you said. They didn't like what you said, but they heard it. So now they're by themselves, Cancer, thinking about, I don't want it to end like this. I love Cancer. Like, this is not what I wanted. I, this is not how I want this to go. I'm telling you. I have to get through the cancer and let cancer know they're the one. How do I fix this? Because, you know, I can see myself with cancer. Cancer, you're not the only zodiac sign loves. Again, I've already told you who you might be dealing with. Um, and I can let you know two of those, those signs that I told you. One which is Pisces and one which is Taurus. Aries does it too, but in a different vein. They don't mess with you unless there is a vibe and unless they can see themselves with you. Facts. Like, so, I mean, did I say cancer? I meant Pisces and Taurus. So I'm looking at both of those. And when they when, when I paused and said, okay, I can see myself with cancer, that's exactly why they, they, they have started to envision you and being in their lives forever. And, you know, they know that they have to come out of this childlike energy. They have to stop acting childish and rec and reconcile their inner child and start to trust. Where's my trust? And start to trust. And start to trust. Have faith and trust that you won't hurt them. And it's not that you've given them any type of indication that, you know, oh, cancer is going to break my heart. Again, this is childhood stuff. Um, if you're interested, I have been attaching that attachment calculator down in the description box. Go take that quiz. Plug in your partner's information. If they're having a hard time it's expressing their self emotionally, but they can cuss you out like it's nobody's business, <laughs> then there we go. <laughs> um, they're going to be coming towards you. They're realizing that you're the one. They know it. They love you already. Um, they just needed to go and like find themselves. But I don't see Hermit. So I don't see that this is going to be an undisclosed amount of time. I don't see Hangman. They did have issues with indecision. But again, they're going to come through with a grand gesture and an expression. And it's going to be something that you haven't heard before. They know they have to knock your socks off because... They've been withholding so long. I think that you've lost faith to the point where you don't even believe what they'll say. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Engagement, keep an open mind, heart to heart conversations. This can be the one reconciliation, forgiving and learning children and express your love. Our major arcana energy again is the hair font strength as well as where's my other one hair uh, strength. Oh, in the moon. <laughs> so. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. If you're interested in, in knowing what that pre-shuffle uh, blurb said, go check me out on Instagram. Everything that you need from me is below. If you are connecting with Capricorn, Taurus, or Libra, their videos are up for your viewing pleasure. I will see you next month when we do it again. Your Libra Forward Focus video will be pinned in the comments. And on the 1st, which is this weekend or whatever, um, yes, this weekend, Sunday, I will be doing our Scorpio season for Focus. Bye, Cancer. <laughs>